Hello everyone, I'm Brian Quarry Dragon and welcome back to Microsoft Oceans. Sailing home, that's endless long sea voyage. A sailor's work is never done. Sun up to sunset we're slaving away. Oi, pick up that mop and set to swabbing, would ya? Right. Quartermaster says scrub the deck. So we seamen go to work with mop and pail. Never know what you're gonna scrub off around here. Oi, how'd these squirts get on the fore deck? Hope the cook don't decide to stick them in the soup. Click me picture afore he sees him quick. Well do. Well, Captain's got this ship full of peacocks and spices that he traded for, so we're sailing home. But oi, what's this? It's raining fish. And what's that glow at the masttops? Whoa! Flames are curling round. The ship's on fire. I can see it. Grab buckets of water, Swains. Hurl them aloft. Flames round the yard arms. Fire! Fire! Run for your life! So it was St. Elmo's fire, not a real one. Even saints make mistakes, you know. Like our trusty first mate, the other day he was telling us that some male fishes have babies. Now I ask you, father's given birth? He expects Eli Eggers to believe a yarn like that? Ho! Oh. Okay, let's see here. The female must press their belly, their bellies against the chosen males in order to transfer the eggs into their brood pouches. The females then disappear, and the males are left to carry the developing young. Hmm. Not easily fooled and proud to haul on a brace in mind, but this cook, he's always trying to pull one over on us lads, like telling us that a starfish blows out its stomach to suck up a clam. Must be Cook's own big stomach he's thinking of, it must. Yep, Eli's learned a thing or two all these months at sea. You won't have me swallowing any more tall tales. Why, squids will swim backwards before you'll have one over on me. But they do. These days, now that we're almost home, I amble around the deck with perfect confidence. It's by no means the same Eli that left England. No, matey, I'm... Oi! Whoa! <laughs> Where'd the boat go? Oi, mates, I fell overboard! Don't leave me here! There'd be sharks in these waters, and I got no coat of mail or an iron bars to protect me! <laughs> Blow me down. Look at old Eli now. I'm cruising home in style, mates, and I'm real sorry there ain't room for you. Blimey. Why didn't someone tell me about these contraptions sooner? It's been a rare pleasure having you along on this voyage, mate. You can join me for another, or wander about on your own. Mayhap we'll meet up in a far port sometime, and share a grog or two. And now, that's the end of Eloy's tours. I'm drawing Troy Dragon signing out. Stay straight.